How long have you been single? Uh, last year's relationship yeah. was like almost seven years ago, I think. Mine seven. But I've had like dalliances, flutters in between. Flutters. Like, nothing serious. Yeah. Is that because you don't want it, or is that because it's, it's quite? I suppose quite difficult. Yeah. They used to be called Party Pat. Most weekends, I would be out for like a couple of days, maybe, and then yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Cheers. Cheers, babes. I suppose I've kind of spent a lot of my time just doing my own thing. If I want to eat a cake for breakfast, I'll eat a cake for breakfast. <laughs> I've met a few nice girls, but no one has made me think, ah. Oh. That's the thing, is it? You meet someone nice. You don't want <laughs> yeah, nice, you, know, you want nice. Nice. Yes. I'm 34 now. I'm starting to think about adult things in life. I do worry about not finding love. <laughs> I want it, so I need to find it. What about you? Same. I broke up with the ex. Weren't a great breakup. He was an ass. Ca caught a bird in the house, picked the knickers off what the floor, the gave them back to her. In your yeah. house? It was all very Vegas. gross. I've been ringing all night, where are you, babe? No answer. You just get that feeling, that sixth sense in your stomach. So I bowled round there, feeling a bit cocky, feeling a bit Danny Dyer. When I walked in that room, I stood and I just remember shaking, but I was in such shock. And as she came in, she went, oh, thanks for letting me crash. And I just spotted this leopard print leotard. I had it back and I was like, stay on the sofa, did ya? Get out. Out you get. Yeah. You found knickers on the floor. Yeah. Kicked him out. Right? It's, it's fuck, maybe it is what it is. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like what I've been through has made me the woman I am. Yeah, you take the positives out of like a bad situation. I'm yeah. very accepting of who I am now and I know what I want now. Yeah. When you fall in love, you give someone your heart and you say, take care of me, look after me, respect me. And when someone actually doesn't just drop it, but smashes it, your self-worth then comes into question. I just assume that they were going to go or they're going to treat me like shit because everyone has. I think it's just made me a bit tougher, which isn't always a bad thing, I don't think. Both my ex-fellas, I actually, like, got to know his friends first. OK. And then... Like, I was like, I really like you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, for me, it's like, I want a best mate that I can rip the clothes off them. More wine? Yes, please. Yeah. How do you feel about kids? Do you want kids? Yeah, definitely. I'm very, sort of, say, family orientated. Like, yeah. I had, like, a, a very strong, sort of, stable family life. Like, mum and dad, sister, house dinner on the table every day at like six. But I had friends that didn't. I'd never understand them not having a Sunday roast. I still, when I walk past Nano's on a Sunday now, I look in and I'm like, why are you not at home having a Sunday roast? I don't know what your family's like, but a very small family. My dad passed away from cancer. What cancer do you have? Uh, mate, everything in the end. He's like, like, like paint on deck, right? Yeah. Go to the cafe. My kind of man. The fry up. Mm. And I go to the pub in the evening and I'll have four or five pints. For the last year and a half of his life, I just watched the, the man in like, Shit's amount of pain, do you know what I mean? It must like, be hard as a fella as well, seeing your dad like that. Yeah. My dad was a very sort of um, strong family man, do you know what I mean? Didn't show much emotion, like, he was, he was very, very sort of old school that way. Having kids is something I want to do. The thought of having all of us together on a Sunday like we do now with, with my own would be, would be, yeah, it'd be nice. Want some more wine? Thanks, baby. I'm a slower drinker than you, but trust me, it's going to my head. Fine. So, You're on holiday, right? Yeah, on our holidays, <laughs> babe. Have you been so to, you've been to Italy before, then? July last year, it was my mate's wedding. Just yeah. before I was ill. So it's been a year, then? I okay. finished chemo in March, but, yeah, we caught it early enough. It hadn't spread, so... It's wicked. It's gone. Ooh. Cheers to that. Cheers, babe. Cheers to that. But I am being put into early menopause. Okay. I'm going to be made infertile. <laughs> Five minutes after, like, they told me I had cancer and they let me process it, they were like, do you want kids? I haven't had a text back in about two months, love. I don't know if I want kids. It was that moment of going, oh, my God, do I? And I realised I did. It's a really weird thing to go yeah. through, but I've got eggs on ice. I've got nine eggs on ice. Got the eggs on ice. Babe, we can make a blazing squad. <laughs> we can make a blazing Just fertilise them all. Kenzie and a, and a Marcel. Kenzie and a Marcel. Oh, <laughs> I can't do a Marcel, Marcel. I can't do a Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, be? we can still call him Marcel. We call him Marcel, Mars, mm. the Blazing Squad. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.